Alright guys, so two videos ago we learned how to add royalty free music to our Final Cut Pro projects and last video we talked about how to fade in and out music. In this video I want to go ahead and talk about sound or audio effects because they're pretty awesome. I use them pretty much for every single video. So what we can do is there's three ways I go about using sound effects for my Final Cut Pro projects. Uh, for starters, we can go back to where we were in the last video. You can go ahead and click on this little musical icon right here. And instead of being on iTunes, you can either click on iLife Sound Effects, which is legit and has categories for which type of sound effects you have. You can go ahead and just play around with them. Uh, iMovies just go by alphabetical order, I believe. Yeah. Ambient. Uh, so you can play around with these any which way. And um, that's kind of the gist of that. We're going to go ahead and pull one in in a second. If you are specifically looking for something like the perfect explosion or just something that's not in either iMovie sound effects or i or iLife sound effects, what I do is I first resort to uh, the YouTube free audio library, what we talked about two videos ago. So just to type in YouTube audio library. And yes, these sound effects you can use and not get in trouble with copyright infringements on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And you can click on sound effects just like that. And it's going to have the sound effects listed by alphabetical order. Uh, say I want something explosion that Final Cut Pro did not have in their sound effect library. So I'll type in explosion just like that. And it's got what? About 10, maybe a dozen. So we can hear these out. It's got the time duration right there. I like that. Maybe if you were like introduce something or have a title, have this play in the background. If you're really specific, what I do is I go back to good old, okay. I go back to good old Google. So I'll type in like, I don't know, Canon explosion, uh, sound effect and probably free. I've never paid for a sound effect to date. Sound Bible is a big one. A couple of these, you just have to sign up for email and they'll let you download for free. Sniper rifle, more thunder. So that's kind of the gist. That's the three ways I go about getting my sound effects. What I want to do in this video is I want to have people cheering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to I Life Movies. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to go to people right here. Let's click on that. Uh, here's a crowd, a boo crowd, a cheer crowd. Let's play around with these. I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this to anywhere you want on your timeline. I'll put it at the end. And just like what we talked about, we can edit this. We could chop it up. We could trim it. Where did it go? Something like that. So I'll put this to the end and I'm going to go ahead and close this now. Grab any sound clip you want. And let's just pull this. Dang, it's pretty long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to cut it up. So I'm going to go blade tool. Snip it right there. Uh, select tool. Let's get rid of that. And um, I'm going to snip this right here as well. All I want is people cheering at the end. So I'm going to go to A. I'll get rid of that. Now, just like what we talked about, you can fade in music and fade out music. You know what? I don't want my background audio to override or overpower uh, my sound effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this right here as well. Blade tool. Select. No, I'm sorry, blade tool, click, snip, select this. And I'm gonna pull this audio down to about negative 25. And again, you can play around with your audio up here if you wanna be a little bit more specific. Uh, and then we talked about fading in and fading out with audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fade this in just a little bit, just like that. And let's see how it sounds. That's too much. What I need to do is I need to fade out this audio as well. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna pull it back even further. Not bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, this is what we talked about a couple of videos ago. I'm actually gonna, the more you pull this, the more it's gonna slow down the fade out. Again, remember if you have this pretty close to where your audio ends, it's gonna be a fast slowdown. 
the longer you pull it, it's going to be a slower slowdown. So I'm actually looking forward to this and this should sound pretty good. Not bad. All right, guys, that's how I add sound effects in Final Cut Pro. Good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you in the next video.